In today's episode, we're going to be checking out on how to protect your ESC using a little piece of propeller and two other main components. Ah, uh, welcome back everybody. My name is Robbie, and as I said before, today we are going to be checking out on how to protect your ESCs. Now originally I believe this idea was from Kevin Doherty, AK Stinger Swarm, and he made a whole video on how to do this. So if you haven't seen it already, go check it out and I'll leave a link in the description below. But today I'm going to be building on his idea, using two other main components. I'm going to be using self-adhering silicon tape, and then some double-sided tape. Now what the double-sided tape will do, is it will provide a layer in between, a soft layer, in between the propeller and your ESC. So it's going to provide some little cushioning and um, just protect the ESC a little bit more. And then the second item, which is going to be your self-adhering silicon tape, is going to be going all the way around your ESC, covering up this green um, propeller piece right here, and then also providing a little bit more protection. So with those two items, hopefully this keeps us from having any more fried ESCs. And I actually had this happen to me um, a couple um, days back. Days back. And um, I was flying my Kiss Quad, and all of a sudden, I was flying with these Dow props right here, and I crashed. I, I crashed, and then I bent one of my props down like this. And as you can see, when it spins, it snags the top of your ESC. And what that does is it pulls off some of the MOSFETs or other electronics, which leaves your ESC useless. So in today's episode, we're going to be checking that out and um, putting that on our quads. So let's jump right in. Essentially, all you're going to need for this project is, first of all, a couple of props, and these can be dead. I mean, this one's missing a couple of its blades. This one's just completely bent. Another completely bent prop. Another one, and this one's just missing one blade. So you're going to use some of those props, some self-adhering silicon tape, which you can get in the links below. Additionally, you're going to need some 3M double-sided tape. Now the tools you're going to need for this are actually relatively simple. First of all, you're going to need a blade. And you can get these basically anywhere. And then also you're going to need some scissors. Now these are reinforced tin snips, but I mean regular scissors would work as well. Alrighty, so let's get on into the build. Alrighty, now the first step for me is I'm going to take off this propeller right here. Now it's best to take off your props when you're doing this, because it does get a little claustrophobic over here. Um, working on your ESCs when you have tri-bladed props. So I'm just going to take this prop off. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your uh, blade here and you're just going to cut down the side opening up and exposing your ESC. Now be careful not to scratch your frame in this process. Alrighty. Now that we have all of the sheeting gone, you can just basically chuck this away. And here's the ESC. Now this is our exposed ESC right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of my 3M tape right here. I'm going to grab my blade again, and then I'm just going to cut myself. It doesn't have to be too big. You just want it big enough to cover about, let's say, three-fourths of your ESC. So it only has to be about this big. Let me move the quad so you can see that better. All right, so now what we're going to do is we still haven't taken the backing off, but I'm going to put this on my ESC, and you want to line it up pretty much in the center and then just press it down into place. Now here comes one of the most or the most difficult parts of this build and that is getting the sheeting off on top here. Now because this double sided tape does such a great job it's actually really hard to get this little red plastic off. Now the, the way that I found it's best to do is take your blade and try and separate this um, plasticky top from the rest of the quad. There we go. So now we've removed the top little piece so you can throw that away. The next step is actually to prepare our little propellers. So in this case, I'm gonna be using an HQ prop just like I did here. Now the color of the HQ prop actually doesn't matter because essentially what we're gonna be doing is covering this whole section up with this black self-adhering silicon tape. So the color doesn't matter. So in my case, I'm gonna be using this. Now you wanna grab your uh, scissors or your tin snips in my case, and you wanna cut as close to the hub of the propeller as possible. 
because that's where the propeller is the thickest. So I'm gonna cut down there. So now we have our blade. And you can see in my case, it starts, it's pretty, it's reasonably flat until it starts curving off. So you wanna find the spot right where it starts curving off and cut that down like that. Now we can move that away. Grab our quad again and then just test fit. So in my case, you can just lay it next to it and you want it to cover both the pads on the top and on the bottom. So in my case, it's a little bit long as you can see, I have some extra piece down on the bottom there. So I can cut it a little bit shorter. Now it's important that you cut it on the very, on the outside edge, cause you can still see there's still a little bit of a slope right there. So I'm gonna cut it over there and just check again. It's looking really nice right now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this HQ prop and have the bottom of the prop face down. So I'm gonna line it up on my ESC and then you can just press it down into place. Now another great thing about this double-sided tape is it actually holds this propeller onto the ESC for you, which is really awesome. All right, now it's time to grab our self-adhering silicon tape. Um, you wanna give yourself a decent amount of tape. So I'm just gonna do it like this and give myself some room. And all has to be about that long. So I'm gonna peel off this backing. Now it's important to not forget that you actually have to stretch this to get some of the particles to activate. But to get it to activate, you have to stretch it a pretty decent amount. Um, so I'm gonna stretch that. Now once I had that ready, this is another hard part of this build. And essentially what we have to do here is we have to wind this piece all the way around so slowly take it over, up over the top. And it's a little awkward to do at first, but it gets easier as you go on as soon as you secure that piece onto the bottom of your frame. So now I'm just gonna keep on going. Keep on going. And keep on going. And one lost. See I didn't cover so you can always go back. And finally you just want to secure it. Now you see it's going to stick to itself but it won't actually stick to the frame which is pretty cool. And there we have it. So we have our ESC now covered. The first layer we have some double sided tape just to provide a little buffer between the propeller and the actual ESC. And then we have the propeller. And then finally on the outside, we have some self-adhering silicon tape, giving us a second layer of protection. So essentially that's it. Now you can repeat this process for all four of your ESCs, and then you should have a pretty decent quad up and running with protection on your ESCs, so you won't blow up any ESCs. So I'm gonna jump to that, and I'll catch you guys as soon as I've finished doing the last three. Hey there guys and thanks for watching. I hope this mod helps you and I hope this keeps you from having to uh, change ESCs because a prop dinged your ESC and you lost a MOSFET. I hope this really brings you good luck and um, just happy flying. So thanks guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and even consider subscribing if you aren't already. And if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments box below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much guys for watching. I love you guys. See ya.